everyone. My name is Jia Yu. I'm from Huawei Cloud and I'm working on Taurus right now. I'm sorry I cannot get to the scene. This video is recorded in advance. Though I'm not aware of the detail of others' topics now, I do believe they are very wonderful and professional. As a database newcomer, I'd like to share some of my learning journey. Today, I want to share with you a simple, small, but really interesting topic, internal temporary table. The whole story starts with a strange phenomenon. A customer complained to us why his circle can be executed properly on an old version of MySQL 8 and uh, MySQL 5.7, <clears throat> but uh, got really slow on MySQL 8.0.29. After analyzing, we found out that the problem is caused by timetable engine. Uh, there was a bug that uh, made the timetable engine perform too many memory allocations and release. After the, after the problem was located, I was uh, cu curious why we need timetable since there is heap engine already. What's the difference between them? To answer the above question, we have to know some basic stuff. The first is, what is internal table? Uh, in some cases, the server creates internal tables uh, while processing inter statements. Users cannot feel it or control it uh, when it occurs. Uh, and uh, when will internal temporary tables be used? Uh, there are many cases, uh, such as derived tables, uh, common table expressions, also known as CTE. And uh, in some cases, uh, subquery and semi join materialization will use internal temporary tables and uh, uh, distinct uh, combined distinct st statement combined with order by will use the uh, tem internal temporary uh, tables. And uh, in this example, it's a uh, nested uh, select circle statement. And we can we can use the explain statement uh, to show its uh, execution plan, and uh, we can see the extra field. Uh, uh, there is uh, using temporary, which means the this circle will use the internal temporary table. And the last one is which tables can be used as internal temporary tables. First. Uh, heap engine. Heap engine is a classic uh, memory engine and it's supported by MariaDB and MySQL both. Uh, it, it has been used very long time and it's very stable. And uh, the second one is timetable. Uh, it is a new engine uh, so, uh, only supported uh, by MySQL 8. And the last one is InnoDB. InnoDB is the bottom line solution. Although InnoDB can ignore the memory size and solve all internal temporary, ta temporary table scenarios, uh, its efficiency is greatly reduced when this guy is involved. Internal temporary tables are usually used in the query process. The most uh, important uh, factor is efficiency. And the heap engine and the timetable engine are both memory-based engines, uh, which, mean, which means uh, memory-based engine engines are one or even several orders of magnitude uh, faster than you know, DB in terms of efficiency. So in most cases, we want internal temporary tables not to use you know, DB. And in this chair, we just focus on timetable and the uh, heap engine. And timetable has become the default uh, internal temporary table for my circle 8. And as an internal temporary table, most operations are insert, uh, update, and read. And with the help of our customers, I did some tests based on their scenario. 
uh, query through derived table and the data records are short and simple. It's not a sufficient test, but we can tell the difference. We can tell uh, there are roughly 32% performance improvement uh, uh, for timetable by or against a HIP engine. But uh, based on this, uh, can we just just say timetable engine is better than HIP engine? And uh, now we can see there is a constraint we didn't mention before. Uh, we did a test uh, under sufficient memory, but uh, for most cases during the the, the service or the server, there are memory is always expensive and uh, rare. It's not uh, it's not uh, always it's all it always not uh, a sufficient uh, resource. So we need to know how many memory does the uh, do the two storage engines use. We can see under the 4 million record insertion scenario, a uh, HIP engine only takes up uh, uh, less than 300 megabytes, but uh, timetable takes up to more than 4 gigabytes. That's uh, 15, 15 to 28 uh, times memory data relation. But uh, why? To understand why this happened, we need to know both engines designs and how both engines work. Uh, before we see the detailed design, let's check what is important for in-memory table design. So first is memory management. Uh, this is how the engine allocate uh, memory from operating system and how did this release them. And the second is the data storage. Uh, that is how to storage row uh, in memory, the row data in memory. And the third one is index, uh, which is how to implement uh, index uh, and uh, uh, for most uh, in memory table, the index is uh, either, either uh, hash index or B tree index. The last two is lock management and transactional management. Uh, they are uh, important for table design, but uh, for tem uh, internal temporary table, uh, they are not very important because internal internal temporary table are only created uh, uh, by optimizer or, or executor. Uh, we cannot control them. They are created uh, after the the query begins and bef and uh, just closed before the query ends. Uh, so lock management and transactional management is not uh, that important. So uh, in this slide, we just talk about uh, the above three aspects. Uh, first of all, let's check uh, heap engines memory control. Uh, the heap engine's memory management is a tree structure. Every node in this tree is a memory block, block which is roughly 64 kilobytes. The bottom layer, or we can say the leaves of the tree, only stores data, just like a B plus tree. And the internal layer only stores pointers. The pointer are pointing to the block in the next layer. Uh, if we need to allocate uh, a new block, uh, we just need to uh, allocate uh, a new a new memory, a uh, new block of memory, and uh, put it uh, under an empty pointer slot, just like this. But if the tree is full which means there's no empty pointer slot. Uh, we cannot put it uh, uh, into the into an empty 
uh, pointer slot, uh, we just need to create a new new root block and uh, make the old uh, root block uh, its child. This operation will make the tree grow a layer higher. And uh, since there are at most uh, uh, 128 pointer slots for each internal block, there will be at most uh, 128 uh, to the power of 5 blocks because the uh, maximum height of the tree is 5. It's 6, it's 5. And uh, uh, at most 2 to the power of 21 gigabytes RAM memory can be managed totally. And besides, and besides, both uh, data and hash index are based on this structure. And for data storage, uh, row data in heap engine are stored as a fixed row format, <clears throat> and there will be an extra pointer uh, next to it. So. The, the item will a little larger than the fixed uh, row format. Uh, I didn't try by myself, but uh, according to the official official, official website, uh, Heap Engine in MariaDB and uh, MySQL, that does not uh, support the blob and the text data types either. And uh, since the Row format is fixed size. Uh, the number of records per block is fixed. So if uh, so if we regard the bottom layer as an array, the the record in this array is arranged one by one. But there are some records that are deleted. Uh, Besides, the, the pointer are also arranged uh, one by one. Uh, the deleted list uh, will be uh, linked as a list uh, uh, with the help of delete pointer. And uh, how to insert a new record? Uh, first, uh, the heap uh, engine will check uh, if it's empty in delete list. If delete list is uh, it's not empty. We can just uh, reuse the uh, space in delete list. We can reuse the, the memory. But if there is no deleted record, uh, we, will, uh, we will check the last empty record in the bottom layer. If there is uh, still space, uh, we can just uh, insert the uh, row data, row record into it. But if there is not any space, uh, free space, uh, we can just uh, create a new block and uh, put the row record into the new block. And uh, how to achieve random scan or random access according to this structure. Uh, we can see, uh, we can regard the, the bottom layer of the uh, tree structure as an array. So scan the, uh, uh, because all the data are stored in the bottom layer. So if we want to just uh, scan the, scan all the data, we can just uh, scan the bottom layer one by one. And in one block, in a block, data can be scanned by address because they are arranged one by one. But uh, but uh, after one data block is scanned, uh, the next uh, the next uh, record uh, the next blob uh, the position of the next blob needs to be determined based on the position or the number of the first record. Just like uh, if you know the position of the uh, record uh, you want to read, uh, you can. You can find out uh, which child uh, uh, is in it, is in with the modulo operation. 
So after several op modular operations, you can find out that uh, the 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 data you want to read is in some blob block. The the whole data structure is essentially a block list blocked uh, linked list. Uh, but the difference is, is uh, by adding a tree structure index to the block the block linked list. <coughs> we can support uh, random access capability. And uh, let's talk about uh, index algorithm for heap engine. There are two kinds of index uh, index algorithm for heap engine. The first one is B-tree indexed. It just reuse the circle uh, code, tree.cc, uh, and uh, we, we don't mention it here. And the second one is uh, hash, hash algorithm, hash index. And I think the hash index uh, re uh, implemented by heap engine is very beautiful. The most special part of this hash algorithm is that the number of hash slots is always equal to the number of records. Uh, just like, uh, let's, let's explain how it achieves it. Uh, hash mask equals to hash value mode belong. Hash value is the uh, the return value of the hash function. And belong is the smallest power of two greater than slots, number of slots. Just like if there is uh, six records in, in, in this heap uh, engine uh, right now, and uh, the belong will be eight because it is the minimal or the smallest power of two greater than six. And how does how does how do the record start in the uh, array in the hash map? Uh, <coughs> records with hash mask equal to zero will be stored in slots zero slot zero, and uh, records with hash mask equal to one will be stored. Uh, uh, in slot one, this is uh, just like uh, a common, a common uh, open open hash table. But for uh, slot two, records with hash max equal two and uh, equal to six will be stored in this slot because uh, we can only use six slot right now because there are only six records here. The hash mask uh, equals to six. The slot six is not ready yet, so we can just uh, we can only store it uh, <coughs> store it in slot two, which is uh, uh, six minus four. Four is half of belong. And also the six, the records with hash mask equal to six uh, will be stored in slot two, uh, just like. Uh, the last one, and the uh, same same as others four and the five will be stored in slot four and five. And how to maintain the structure after the insertion? Uh, let's see. After insert one record, just like this, uh, the number of records will be seven, and uh, the belong does not change; it's still eight. Uh, now we scan scan the all the records in slot two and uh, pick up uh, all the uh, records with hash mask equal to six and uh, put them into put them into slot six and now the 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 structure is maintained we can use it uh, we can we can insert the new record now. And uh, the implementation of the hash table of heap is very complicated. And uh, in principle, the hash table is an open hash table, but uh, actual, in actual storage, all hash entries of the heap table are stored in slots, which does not waste any memory. There is, which means there is no memory waste in this uh, algorithm. <clears throat> And uh, also, the underlying this structure is also a block-linked list. 
just like the 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 tree structure. <coughs> Let's see timetable. It's memory control. The memory management of timetable engine is more valid. The basic uh, allocation unit is block uh, timetable uh, uh, allocate block from operating system, not uh, just uh, RAM memory, but also mapped files, which makes the timetable can use less memory and uh, uh, not uh, can can use mapped files to make the memory. Uh, unlimited or or make more memory use more memory and uh, and uh, and it uh, does not uh, allocate uh, the same size block uh, each time for example first time it will allocate uh, 1 megabytes uh, memory block but uh, if it's not uh, enough, it will allocate uh, 2 megabytes and 4 megabytes, and the next time 8 megabytes. And at last, uh, it will uh, allocate at most uh, uh, 512 megabytes, at most. And uh, the blocks are used in everywhere of timetable. Uh, not only data storage, but also STL containers and uh, some temporary memory. <coughs> and uh, if uh, if we delete the chunk from, uh, if we release the chunk, it will be marked as deleted in the block. Uh, if the deleted block uh, chunk is the last block, in is the last chunk in the block we can reuse it but if it's in the middle uh, we timetable will never reuse it and timetable achieve uh, implement uh, uh stl's library stl style like uh, stl style uh allocator and uh, each time uh, the circle the server Create uh, and timetable. It will borrow a, a empty block or a pre-allocated block from a global log-free block pool. And uh, once the timetable is closed, uh, it will return the block back to the block block pool, which reduces the one memory allocation. And uh, if the uh, pre-allocated block is not enough. Is not large enough. Uh, it will timetable will allocate uh, uh, new memory from operating system, and uh, uh, once uh, all chunk in block uh, are released, uh, the block will be reduced. Will uh, will be released. Will be freed and released uh, to operating system. And. Uh, this is uh, th this may cause some issue if if there are some scenarios uh, like a loop every round for each round uh, it will allocate uh, a temporary memory and uh, free it and in this case uh, it may cause uh, allocation jitter that uh, the timetable will allocate uh, a new a new a block because uh, there uh, the 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 all the other blocks are full and uh, once it's used uh, it will be released and uh, for the next round it uh, allocate again and released again uh, this will cause uh, very serious allocation jitter and this is the bug mentioned uh, at the beginning of the slice and uh, let's see the how to store data and index in timetable. Uh, for data, uh, for data, uh, timetable is also stored uh, as pages. It's it's like a linked buffer. It's like a, a block linked list. Each block, or we can say each page, is 
uh, for uh, 64 kilobytes. And uh, uh, it has a head and tail. Every record, uh, if the record contains virtual blob text or other dynamic format, roof, uh, dynamic field, uh, it will, the, the, the block linked list will only store the metadata and the real, uh, real data will be stored uh, uh, in other place with pointer. And uh, <clears throat> if it doesn't contain any dynamic uh, field, field type, field types, it will use a fixed row format. But uh, uh, we know uh, the upper layer, the circle layer, only use fixed row format. So if uh, the if the row format if the row contains some uh, dynamic uh, field, uh, it will allocate. It, it will. It has to. Timetable has to uh, combine and uh, format the row row data and uh, t before send it back to upper layer. So it may cost uh, some some time, but uh, but uh, this will but but uh, store separate. Uh, store metadata and row data separately will save some memory. Uh, if you want to scan all the data, just uh, uh, scan from header to tail. Uh, uh, and uh, you can use the pointer directly. It's just a, a block linked list, uh, like uh, heap. Uh, engine, but uh, the difference is uh, it does not uh, support random access because uh, it does, it's just a normal block link list. Uh, you can't uh, random read uh, the, uh, random read, uh, random read some record uh, in, in the, in one page, in one inner page. And uh, the difference between, and the, and the index uh, in timetable, timetable also support a harsh index and a betray index, uh, which is not betray index. I make a mistake here. It's, it's a red uh, black tree index. And, uh, uh, but uh, it does not uh, imply implement by itself. Uh, for harsh index, it used stlib, uh, unordered map and, uh, for, uh, tree map, tree index. This is RB tree, RB tree index. Uh, it uses STL container, STD map, which is mu much more easier and simpler. And, uh, after, uh, after, uh, after analyze the, uh, design of heap engine and timetable engine, we can Compare these two engines from low level. The first is why timetable is faster in this universe. Uh, first is it it uh, its allocation is uh, fewer uh, for the four million test uh, scenario. Uh, timetable only need to allocate uh, thirty times, but uh, heap engine need to need to allocate uh, more than one thousand times. And timetable use simpler data structure and algorithm, which makes the uh, which makes the the execution more faster. And uh, timetable do less calculation and uh, memory access. It it use pointer rather than position. And the uh, time and uh, for hash index, uh, timetable use use uh, an ordered map, but uh, uh, heap engine implement by itself. But uh, uh, tables of heap engines are always one hundred percent full, so it uh, will suffer from collisions. And uh, the second comparison is why heap use less memory, because heap has finer grained memory allocation. 
hyper hyper engine only allocate uh sixty four kilobytes once, but uh, timetable will allocate more than uh, more than five hundred megabytes at most, and uh, heap view heap engine will always recycling deleted rows, but uh, uh, timetable for most uh, deleted rows timetable time can't reuse their memory, and the third is. Uh, Heap engine use uh, uh, memory efficient uh, efficient uh, hash tables, although it uh, suffers from hard uh, collisions, but it it sure uh, save lots of memory. But uh, it's not uh, very fair to compare the two, compare heap engine and timetable engine. Uh, for timetable engine, it's just it just. Uh, it's just an internal tem temporary table. You can't uh, create uh, an a temp table table by yourself. Only optimizer or executor can uh, decide whether to create a temp table table. But for heap engine, it's not just uh, an internal temporary temporary table. It's also a memory table. Uh, we users can create a heap uh, table by themselves, and if uh, uh, heap uh, engines use too much memory, uh, heap, uh, when 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 we use heap as a memory table, it will last for a long time in in memory. So it will uh, make some effects. Uh, on other executions, that's that that that's not uh, what we want to see. And uh, there are some ideas that how to make uh, engines better. Uh, for heap engine, we can separate uh, the uh, memory alloc uh, separate the data structure for data storage and indexes storage because uh, their logics their logic are different some compromises are made to support both data and the index at one kind of data structure if we can use separate data structure it may be more efficient and uh, for timetable engine uh, we can Separate data and index memory management and do some recycling uh, work in timetable because for now we are using the same allocator for both data and index, but uh, uh, we we know the data allocation uh, for data allocation every time we allocate uh, forty six kilobytes, but uh, it's more careful for uh index or stl container or temporary allocation so if we can separate them uh we can we can we can optimize the data memory management uh, by uh management but uh, even with this optimization the performance and memory efficiency of the two are still different this is because the difference, the 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 underlying of the underlying principles of the two two storage engine are different. The heap engine for the heap engine, it just want to use as less as possible memory during execution, but for timetable, it's it's just more careful. You you can use uh, you you want. Uh, Time people want to use less memory, but if uh, it's hard to use less, it just uh, allocate a new block. Uh, it's not uh, as much less as possible. So as less as possible. So it will use more uh, memory, but uh, it will uh, execute uh, more faster. Faster. So it's uh, hard to say which is better, uh, which which internal 
uh, temporary engines better because uh, they are different. So just like 21 foot rules, uh, just use the right engine in the right scenario to, to achieve better performance. Thank you. And um, by the way, I'm working on I'm working on character site and the collisions uh, right now. If there's some other chance, I, I'd like to show show you the uh, share you share with you the the learning journey on that uh, area. Thank you. Thank you for listening. That's all.